We're here today with Matt McGann from MIT Admissions in Cambridge, Massachusetts. We're also here with IB Diploma student Douglas Stutzberg from Malmo Boriar School in southern Sweden. Douglas, could you describe the IB Diploma and how it differs from any other diploma? The IB system is an internationally recognized curriculum uh, where you have uh, subjects to students choose six subjects uh, to, to study for two years and uh, towards the end of your studies, towards the end of these two years, uh, all students are uh, take final exams where they are graded on a scale of one to seven. Also included in the IB is the uh, extended essay which is an essay uh, on a topic of choice uh, for 4,000 words as well as a uh, theory of knowledge essay uh, between 1,200 and 1,600 words. Matt. How does a U.S. admissions representative view the IB Diploma? Uh, American admissions officers see the IB Diploma as a rigorous diploma which well prepares students for American universities. The breadth of the program, uh, as well as the depth that is included with the extended essay and the higher level subjects, I think really does an excellent job in preparing the students for the rigors of the curriculum that they'll see in their American university. So American admissions officers are very much uh, excited to see students with the IB diploma. Douglas, could you talk a little bit about the CAS system? The CAS system is um, IB's way of um, enforcing or uh, uh, pushing students to do extracurricular activities outside of school. And CAS is composed of creativity, action, and service. Creativity uh, can be uh, anything creative, as the name uh, implies. Uh, it, it, it can be composing music, uh, playing the guitar, um, anything that's creative, writing, uh, things like that. Action is all about action. It's sports. It could be running, jogging, whatever you like, whatever sport you, you do. And service uh, is about helping the community, giving something back to the community, which is one of the foundations of, of, of the IB curriculum is to give back to, uh, to, to the community in, in the form of service, which, which of course can be um, helping out local organizations or, or um, uh, arranging events uh, and uh, basically to give back what, you, what the com community has given to you, you give something back to the community. Matt, what is the range of predicted scores that you generally see at MIT and is there a minimum predicted score? At MIT, we have no minimum uh, expectations or cutoffs, but typically we see students applying with predicted scores ranging from the high 30s up into the 40s. Uh, American universities typically don't make conditional admissions officers as you, offers, as you might see in the UK, uh, but we do expect students to uh, finish the IB Diploma program with uh, high marks as they've been predicted.